feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you this mobile home. It's the White Pine. Now I've seen it, the sister to this home. Um, the Marvel, the Wonder, all of those are sisters to this home. This is a true mobile home, but I've never seen this one. It's actually backed up to another one, another mobile home. So no need to show you the exterior. We wouldn't be able to see it anyway, but let's go in and see how this compares to its little sisters, the Marvel and the Wonder. Again, this is the White Pine. Hey family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing, or specifications, all the information I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so this is your view coming into the house. You can see into the dining room and kitchen. You do have that wall there, which is nice because it kind of breaks up, um, gives it a little separation. This is the living room, you guys. So you have all of the space here. Okay. That's your living room. A lot of space in the living room. That's the master right off the living room. We'll go see that last. Let's take a look at the kitchen. So we'll, we'll walk through the kitchen. The first thing is the utility room is open to the kitchen. Looks like a lot of space in the utility room. You've got your back door there. Your washer and dryer will go here. So it's got space for a large washer and dryer. You could put a, a really tall... You know how those front loaders are on stands? So you got lot, lots of space for those. Your heating and air unit goes in there. And then you got this cubby hole over here that you can use for whatever you like. It's got an outlet, so you could possibly put a um, deep freezer over there. You could use it for storage. Um, you could use it for additional space to prep and use appliances it's just whatever you choose to do but you've got all of this space in your utility room to do whatever you like now walking into the kitchen from the back door this is the view you see you've got open shelving over the refrigerator lots of cabinets upper and lower cabinets you've got this big counter i would probably use for a beverage station that's what your inside of your cabinets look like really nice this is a nice starter home or a home for a large family because this is a four bedroom you've got drawers over here got more cabinet space your dishwasher is over there by the sink you've got a window that opens above the sink and then you got all of those cabinets and your stove is over there this is your island nice space to prep you could put a bar stool on this end really nice so that's what your kitchen looks like all right next to the kitchen you have the dining room you have space for a nice size dining room table and you've got a window here so you see the separation of the dining room versus the kitchen and then next to the dining room You've got a bonus room and I, I'm, we're going to call it a bonus room because it could be whatever you like. It could be crafts. It could be den, family room, play room, uh, kids school room. It could be your home office. It could be just whatever you decide um, to call it. So your bonus room, dining room, kitchen, utility room is over there. And then we'll do one more sweep. Of the living room really nice now again this is a four bedroom so we got three bedrooms on this end right off the family room is this room so this is a get we'll call this guest bedroom number one 
You have all the space in here in this bedroom. Got that big window there. And you've got a nice walk-in closet in guest bedroom number one. Now, the, the pity is you can't really see how much space you have because the shelves don't come around. So before it leaves a lot, I would ask them, hey, can you throw me some shelving this way or either this way or both? It's up to you. But that would really maximize the space. You'd have lots more room. Or if you're using this for an office or a storage area, then you have lots of space in this closet for a storage area. All right? So that's guest bedroom number one. Over here, we have guest bedroom. Right around this corner, we have guest bedroom number two. Over here. Looks like you may have another walk-in closet. Let's go take a look. All right, you got another walk-in closet. Again, bring the shelving this way. That'll really maximize the space and give you lots of room for all of your items that need to be either hung up or folded, okay? So that's guest bedroom number two. Give you another. I always look down at the floor, you guys, so you can really get an idea of how big the room is. Now, we don't have lights in this one, so I'm not going to walk all the way in the bathroom, but here's your guest bathroom. So happy that the camera's picking up the light. I'm using my phone today, you guys. I, you probably can tell because I have it on a gimbal. But this is, guest, this is a guest bath. And then... Again, this is a cubby hole. So you got two bedrooms here and one there. So let's walk in guest bedroom number three. This is guest bedroom number three. Appears to be the same size as guest bedroom number two. And you have a standard closet in here versus the other two bedrooms that have the walk-in closet. Okay, so let's walk back out and I'll give you another, another tour of this bedroom again that is guest bedroom number two and now we'll go take a look at the master again the master is off the living room huge huge master i love it love the two big windows in here this master is huge look at that you guys so all of this is master bedroom and then imagine you're laying in the bed and you've got all of that space over there this is the master bath master bath looks kind of dark i'm pretty sure there are pictures online i'll make sure to include those as always you've got one sink in the master bathroom you've got your toilet over there behind that half wall and then you got a tub and shower combo. But you got all of the space right here, you guys. So you have plenty of space to add additional storage. And then this is your master closet. Again, bring the shelving that way. This closet is huge. The only thing I would have done different in here is with all of the space, you definitely could have had two sinks. So I would ask if that's an option, if you're interested in this home, okay? All right, again, this is the white pine. Let's go take a look at the price. All right, the white pine is a four bedroom. It doesn't say the square feet. This four bedroom base regular price is 84.6. At this location, it's 82.5. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Mobile Home Diva. You guys have a great day. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you 
Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Honestly, I'm open wide I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom So